Hi everyone, today I'm sitting amongst my flowers here and I'm just kind of watching the butterflies and I just kind of thought, well, I'll make a video. I'm going to show you kind of the, you know, the area outside here in our backyard where everything's blooming right now. And this is the Perfusion Zinnias. Um, I had a lot of these left. Didn't want to throw them out because I know the butterflies just love them. And what's nice about the Perfusion is, is they only get a foot tall. And if you if you haven't tried this variety of zinnias, I would make sure that you do. Um, they go good in containers. And also, you know, they look beautiful in the ground. And the butterflies just flock to them. These are full of butterflies today. Um, I think I scared a few away, but the butterflies just love these zinnias. And I can come out here and just get it just you know once I brush myself against these flowers they're just they, they all fly away and they go up in the air and they're just they're just just thick right now so I'm happy I planted them and I think uh, it's a great addition since it's feeding the butterflies that makes more and more for next year too you know if we, if we keep supplying the butterflies with food and there's my Chloe uh, she seems to have to come by me hi baby but um, we're here, you know, looking at the flowers today, and it's a lot of fun. I show some animals in there too, but I get a little closer. So make sure, you know, if you're not into zinnias. Um, just because of the old varieties that they were very tall and they probably flop over. Try some of these mounded perfusion zinnias. I got the orange, the cherry, the apricot. And also I tried a couple new varieties this year too. 